Ang susunod naman natin na pag-aaralan ay kung paano natin makukuha ang periodic payment ng problems involving general annuity. So, ito yung dalawang formulas na pwede nating pagpilian. So, una, meron tayong R is equal to P times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to B minus 1 over 1 minus the quantity of 1 plus I raised to negative N. So, ito yung formula na gagamitin natin pag given yung ating present value. And then, yung pangalawa naman nating formula, meron tayong R is equal to F times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to B minus 1 over the quantity of 1 plus i raised to n minus 1 pag ang given naman natin ay yung future value. So, the same pa rin naman yung computation natin ng b, ng i, at saka ng n. Para sa ating first na example, Mr. and Mrs. Salazar will need 300,000 pesos in 2 years to start their own business. They plan to save money by making monthly deposits at the end of each month in an account earning 8% per year compounded quarterly. How much must they make monthly? So, unang-una natin i-check ulit yung ating payment interval at saka yung ating compounding period. So, ang sabi dito, pagkakaroon sila ng monthly deposit. Okay? And then, quarterly yung ating conversion period. So, since different yung dalawang yun, so this is still a problem under general annuity. And then, ang sabi dito, nangangailangan sila ng 300,000 pesos in 2 years. So meaning to say, this 300,000 is our future value. So ang gagamitin natin dito ay yung pangalawa nating formula. So ito yung mga kailangan natin para sa pagkocompute natin. Uh, we need a value of F. We need a value of R. We need a value of M. Yung value ng T, yung P, and yung C. So, yung F natin dito, or yung ating future value is yung 300,000. Yung R natin, so ang rate natin dito ay 8% per year compounded quarterly. So, this is 8% or that is 0 0.08. And then compounded quarterly, so our M here is 4. Ang time naman natin, uh, we have 2 years. Okay, so our T here is 2 years. Yung P natin, that's the number of months in a payment interval. So, ang number of months natin ay, since monthly siya, so 1 lang. And then, yung atin namang value ng C, that's the number of months in a compounding period. So, since quarterly ito, so there are 3 months. And now, we'll solve for our I. So, ang I natin is R over M. So, our R is 0 0.08. And then over our M, which is 4. So this will give us 0 0.02. And then next is yung value ng N. So this is M times T. So yung M natin is 4. Yung atin namang time is 2. So 4 times 2, this is 8. And then next is yung value ng B. So para naman sa value ng B, you have here P over C. So we have here 1 third. So, gamit yung mga values na yan, he will now compute for our uh, periodic payment. Okay, so ang formula na gagamitin natin, we have R is equal to so since future value ang given, so we have F times the quantity of 1 plus I raised to B minus 1 over 1 plus I raised to n minus 1. Yan. So, ang F natin, uh, we have 300,000 times uh, 1 plus i. So, since alam natin na yung i natin is 0 0.02. So, we'll write here 1.02. Raised to the value of b, which is yung b natin ay 1 third. So, raised to 1 third minus 1 over so, 1 plus i ulit tayo. So, alam natin na yung 1 plus i na yan is 1.02. And then, raised to n, which is 8. So, raised to 8 minus 1. Okay. So, after nyan, ang next natin na gagawin is isisimplify natin. So, we have 300,000 times... 1.02 raised to 1 third minus 1. So, ito-diretso na natin siya. That will give us 0 
1.08 And then sa denominator naman natin, 1.08, a uh, 1.02 raised to 8 minus 1, that will give us 0 0.17163. Eight, one. And then, it divide natin itong dalawang ito. We will have 300,000 times the quotient of these two numbers, which is 0 0.03858 And then, multiplying this to 300,000, this will give us 11,574.1 so approximately, ang magiging periodic payment natin dito, or yung periodic payment ni Mr. and Mrs. Salazar monthly, will be 11,574.16 pesos. So ito yung kanilang magiging monthly payment in order to have 300,000 pesos after 2 years. Para sa ating second problem, a couple left their son with one, uh, 1 million pesos insurance policy. What monthly income would the policy provide for 15 years if the insurance company pays 8% compounded semi-annually? So again, uh, let's check if this problem is under general annuity. So check natin yung ating payment interval. So ang sabi dito ay monthly. Okay, tinatanong tayo kung ano yung monthly income. Okay, tapos... Uh, ito ay compounded semi-annually so yung ating payment interval at saka yung ating compounding period ay magkaiba so it's a general annuity and then ang sabi dito uh, 1 million yung iniwan nila na insurance policy so meaning to say this 1 million pesos is our present value so since present value ang given dito so we'll be using the first formula so, first formula natin ng pagkuha ng periodic payment in which ang given ay yung present value. So, ito yung mga kailangan natin. Uh, we need a value of P. Kailangan din natin ng value ng R. We have M. Also need the value of T, P, and C. So, yung P natin dito, yung uh, principal amount natin dito is 1 million pesos and then yung ating rate uh, we have 8% so this is 0 0.08 yung compounding period natin yung M this is compounded semi-annually so this is 2 and then yung T natin for 15 years so ang time natin is 15 Tapos yung P natin, that's the number of months in a payment interval. So since monthly yon ang value ng P natin dito ay 1. And then yung C naman natin, that's the number of months in a compounding period. So since it's semi-annually, so ang value ng C natin ay 6. Ayan. So solving for I, we have R over M. R natin is 0 0.08. Yung M natin ay 2. So this will give us 0 0.08. Four. Next is we solve for n. This is m times t. So this is 2 times 50. So this will give us 30. And then yung value natin ng b. So this p over c. This is 1 over 6. So this value will be used for the computation of our periodic payment. So formula natin, we have here r is equal to uh, this time, yung letter P naman ang ating gagamitin since present value ang given. And then, we multiply this 1 by 1 plus I raised to B minus 1 over we have 1 minus 1 plus I raised to negative N. Yeah, so substitute the given. We have 1 million times... 1 plus i, so yung i natin is 0 0.04. So we'll have 1.04 raised to the value of b, which is 1 over 6 minus 1. Over 1 minus 1 plus i again is 1.04 raised to negative n. So ang n natin ay 30. 
Okay, so next, we we'll simplify our numerator. So we have 1 million times 1.04 raised to 1 over 6 minus 1. That will give us 0 0.00655. Eight one nine seven, and then sa denominator naman natin one minus one point zero four raised to negative thirty, that is zero point six nine one six eight one three three two. So divide natin nito. We'll have one million times the quotient of these two numbers, which is zero point zero. 0.9481530 and then you multiply it to 1 million this will give us 9481.53 so meaning to say uh, ang kailangan natin dito na amount or yung ating periodic payment is 9,481.53 pesos. So, ito na yung value natin ng R.